Hey guys, this is Chris. So the second part of this treasure chest video is about making the texture in Substance Painter. Um, and if you want to know how I build this model in ZBrush, and you can just go to the link down below and it will lead you to the first part of this video. So uh, here I'm using um, the filter, the raw metal, that's the base of this um, metal layer. And then I'm just um, adding, playing, I'm just playing around uh, with the parameters of the metalness and the roughness to, um, to make it not too shiny, but also um, make sure it looks quite like a metal as a base. So basically, I just add the anchor point on top of the raw metal filter. So with the um, the anchor point mask and um, the edgeware mask, which is the mask generator, I can create a more complex mask for this metal material. And also you can see I'm using this anchor point mask on the lighter color as well just to make things look more complicated and interesting and also I add a bit of height information as well So here I'm creating the rust for this metal material. So I started by creating a group for this layer and add a mask. And the first thing I added was the, um, the fill with the, one of the um, cloud procedural map. And I just turned up the, uh, the contrast and made this spots effect. And on top of that I just add this uh, metal edge wear and I just layer them up. Also a bit of um, height information. I think, yeah, here I also add another filter, which is the warp. So this is just gonna make things look more natural and also reveal some of the, the light metal on the back. Yeah, play around with the colors and also the roughness because I really want to create this contrast between um, the, uh, the, glossy, the glossiness of the metal and the roughness of the, the rust. And on top of everything, I just add another layer, um, which is a scratch. And also I use one of the scratch procedural map 
and just play around uh, with the parameters to make to make it look more interesting, add more details. So here I just uh, start to add the wood panel. I'm just using one of the material from Substance Painter. And I start to uh, create the mask for the wood panel just to separate the metal and the wood material. But I only started with the one at the bottom. There's another one on the side as you can see. It's only because when I was doing the UV mapping, I uh, forgot they were facing a different direction. So what am I gonna do is just focus on this wood panel material and once I finish it I'm just gonna duplicate the whole uh, wood panel texture set to, uh, rotate that 90 degree and apply it on the rest of the wood panels Um, I think here I'm just playing around with the colors because I don't want to make uh, the wood panel too red-ish because the rust is already quite red so I kind of want to um, turn down the saturation of the wood panels. Lastly, I just start to hand painting some extra details to make it even more natural. Um, especially the lock, I don't want to make the lock looks the same as the rest of the, the metal frames so I just uh, paint out all the uh, the dark areas and to make the um, the locker looks more shiny Um, so yeah, so basically this is how I did the texture for this chest. You can definitely get this done in one day. 
um, and maybe the anchor point is a little bit confusing but with a bit of exercise you can get the idea quickly and so this is for this one so thank you so much for watching and if you like the video please consider subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next one bye